So the first ship we're going to be looking at today is made by Dalmont. And if you'd like to tell me what the name of this beautiful carrier is. Please. This is the Aetherius. And it is a masterpiece. I think this is the biggest one yet. <laughs> and it is huge. I showed it sort of in a preview in an earlier video. So people might be familiar or have seen it in the previous we didn't get to talk to you at the time because it was sort of open discussion at the time there but uh, I love the way that you've used the wedges on the outside of this it's not just random it gives an actual uh, texture to image to the whole plating at the back there in command console are these guns yes Big uh, it's outfitted with one, two, three, I think six of the uh, upgraded serious turrets. Unbelievable. They're so smart as well, these turrets, the turret design. It's just beautiful. Yeah, this one actually comes with a very wide variety of ships and accessories. Let's have a look at this other one. Truly awesome. Looks like Captain Kirk made the lineup. I'm guessing that's Captain Kirk. Yep. So. <laughs> right then. If you'd like to open one of the hangar doors, let's do a real quick run through. Yeah, I'll just uh, make my way down there ever so slowly. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. And we've also got this airship. I'll quickly run around the airship while you're... Uh, navigating from one to the other so what's the name of the airship uh it's just a blimp death race just the blimp yes uh that's advertising for rip's new death race oh we'll be checking that out very soon as well let's have a look at this oh nice it's got a nice little gondola under there very nice oh dear i crashed a little bit there go the black stores Okay, so I'm going to bring my uh, ship over. There's a neat uh, little button in the uh, lower bridge that you can open the flex doors from. <laughs> nice. I think, have I, got a, have I got any ship cores? No, I haven't got any ship cores. <laughs> right then. Got gravity? Or have I got to fly? I think for here you got to fly. Okay, tell me what this little room is up here so I can... Uh, that's kind of like the control tower area. Okay. There's some cores for you. Trust and me, these ships in the hangar? Your standard? Yes. Well, uh, they are one specific class of standard fighter. You have like the uh, kind of lead fighter in the middle with the red trim, and then you have the uh, companions, the wingmen in the back. But those are the scythe, or scythe class, if you want to get more technical. And then in the front, you have the horizon class shuttle which is basically just a scythe, but without guns. <laughs> Excellent. So which way do we go to get to the, to the uh, bridge? And well, I tell you what, I should. There's, there's about three different bridges in, on this one, in fact. It's got quite a bit of an interior. Let me just make my way down there. Do I have to go over this side, do I? It's a truly massive hangar. Oh yeah, man, that's only the first. <laughs> oh, what happened to my ship? Oh well, we'll worry about that later. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Uh, if you go down to the right, there's some doors on the wall. Airlocks. Lots of them. Yes. So you, okay, where did you go? Oh, there you are. I'm behind the glass. <laughs> Oh, are you? Oh, no, that's Captain Kirk. Oh, oh. He's come to visit. Oh, I can't get in. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Oh, nice. Beautiful corridor. We've fallen this one to the end. It uh, actually goes up to a small observation deck where you can watch the fighters come out got, of the other hangar. Have you got a core? 
Oh yeah, it's in there somewhere. Did you throw a core down for me? Oh, I gave you course. Uh, oh, right. You should have now. Right, do I get... <clears throat> there we go. That's better. Right. I'll join you as well. There's some fairly large hallways here. Yeah. Oh. What happened? Bumper cars. <laughs> Did you get teleported out? No. No, no, I'm still okay. here. Alright, where are we going? Oh. Yep, so right out here, this is the observation deck. Lots of room to look at neat, neat little departures and arrivals. This is essentially intended for when things get a little bit less laggy and you can watch things move smoothly. Yeah. Nice. And so we'll continue down the hallway here, filled with waiting room style chairs. Access tonight by faction. It's my ship. Mm -hmm. All right, and here is the Arboreum the Park. Well, I suppose it would qualify as a park at this scale. Excellent. Miniature house storms. They're like monuments now. Ah, uh, indeed. We have, we still have to check out the memorial at the bottom of the station. That's true, that's true. Where did you head to? I'm still hanging around down here. If we come up... This over here... Oh, I see. We've got an expansive area here, which you can see there's the hangar that we were just in. And you go up this little staircase, which leads up here. And you got your little observation decks, and then we can uh, yeah, actually continue. Just pop out and just have a little look around. Yeah, there's a lot of this ship, more than I anticipated. Nice. Interesting story, the thing was actually never intended to be a carrier. No, the, uh, this whole area up top was originally a very old design that I had done for basically something that was the equivalent of the Silvana. Oh, right. And it got uh, reconfigured uh, to be the carrier. Alright, so we come through here, and uh, if we go up we'll get towards the core room and the bridge, but if we come in here, we have our signature med bay. Nice. Very nice. Of course you have your desk and your little observation area. If you look up there you get a sneak peek of the core. <laughs> Excellent. And then we come through here and we are in the uh, weapons area and also the uh, kind of control tower for the first hangar deck. <laughs> this is really nice. There's not really much more you can say really, it's just perfect. The great big open corridors, nice detailing on the on the walls, we've got like features to look at through. Uh, excellent, like, even the corridors have a feature. I'm loving it, this is great. And obviously it'll be isolation or something, I guess. The theater. More or less. Or isolation from your co-workers, whichever you prefer. Oh, wow. Alright, so before we continue up to the bridge, this is kind of a little monument to the uh, symbol of whatever that symbol decides to represent one day. <laughs> it just looked neat, so... <laughs> yeah, it's nice. It's a nice bit of detail on what would be a big empty space. Now you get your you get your really expansive windows. I think this is my favorite part of the ship. Yeah, because a lot of stuff to look at. There's, there's, there's a lot more space in here than I thought there would be. I'll be honest, because it's a big flat ship when you see it from the outside. And then you come in here, and it's just like this is like a chapel. Yeah, it creates some serious vertical space. We have a choice. We can do the core room and the lower bridge first, or we can go up to the upper bridge. We'll do the core room first, because we're here. You know. 
I will uh, reset the faction so you can poke around at your leisure too. All right, cool. Cool, look at this. That's a lovely pattern you've got on the walls. All right, let's check out the stats on this then. <clears throat> Don't move the ship. Okay. So we've got a mass of 279, uh, 275,920, a length of 739, a height of 123, and a width of 303. It's got, wow, uh, is that 12 million power storage? Yep. And uh, 1.2 million, no. That's yeah. 10 million shield. 1.2 million recharge per second. No, that's that's that should be 12 to 13 million recharge per second. Let me just read those zeros again. Yeah, yeah, it is. So it's 12 million energy per second uh, recharge. Thrust, 406,000. Turning speed is 1 on the X, 1.1 on the Y, and 1 on the Z. So 10 million shields with 133,000 shields per second recharge. Recovery is five. There you go. Lovely ship. Okay. It packs a... Well, it did pack a punch. It did pack a punch. Not anymore. But then that's basically the story, isn't it? Let me just <coughs> straighten us out here. We appear to be moving. Whoops. I think somebody bumped us. Oh, really? Yep, that would be the that would be the case. But there we go. So this is kind of the uh, the blast door area. Mm-hmm. Obviously, don't want any bullets getting the bridge, so we have hardened hull. And here we have the lower bridge, the battle bridge, if this you will. This looks like the one off of in your own space balls. <laughs> Actually, it's. Uh, kind of model to resemble it. It does, it looks like the Spaceball 1 bridge, but without the upper gantry. <laughs> ah, that's brilliant. I like it. Especially like this, because, you know, it's like inventive use of the space. You know, people steal ideas. This is good stuff. <laughs> Take it home with you and build more ships. That's right, build some more epic ships. Right, here we go. Moving on, away from the control room, I guess. Oh, and through the blast shield. Oh, I popped out! Don't worry, <coughs> don't try and close these doors. They can be a little bit touchy. And we're back. Oh, gonna watch out for space warp. Oh, uh, oh, I made it, I made it. <laughs> Great See. success. I'm a bit fat, you see. I can't really make it through the one block gaps. <laughs> okay, let's go up to the top. What's this, the bridge? Nope, we got another floor to go before oh, the bridge. We have a conference room yet. More eye candy. And if we come over here, we actually have a little uh, yep. kind of overhang. I saw that. That works really well. It looks like bars. And then if you want to be a secretary, we have your secretary desk. <sighs> so before you get to the bridge, you have to check in with the, Security. With the men at the front. Yes. I like it. That's beautiful. Can you go this way? Yes, this is the nice. conference room. And I have to give credit to Rip for these fans. Yeah, they're really Those nice. Those were... Yeah, they're I really just... creative use of the wedge. Oh, wow. It's like... This is like... Uh... Oh, gosh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where? What happened? Wow. I think we're okay, but somebody is on the move. What? Really? Uh, hmm. Okay. Anyway. Lovely. Oh, my skin isn't working. That's interesting. Yeah, I noticed that mine wasn't either today. Anyway. So here we are. In the conference room. Excellent. Man. It looks a bit like the one from um, Star Wars. 
Mm. I suppose it does, actually. In a hindsight. Bit. But then, you know, it's a long table with seats. <laughs> we could be on Mustafar, or we could be anywhere. Yeah, could have been anywhere, yeah. It looks good. I still have yet to do a curvy one, like on the D. The uh, Enterprise D. I've always wanted to try that. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw Pirate Ray make a curvy bar. I really like that. In the Nebuchadnezzar. That was nice. But anyway, what is this room? This is the uh, sweatshop. <laughs> the sweatshop where all of the. See, this doesn't have a fully automated computer to stop the uh, E war. It's got a bunch of people that have to put stuff like like switchboard. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it put that technical, but I think it works. <laughs> Lots of people that have to punch in things. Lots of operators. I like it. An army of op operators. Again, a lot like um, something but somewhere between the Spaceball 1 and the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer that we saw in uh, the last Star Wars. Look at I was going for the Star Destroyer bridge on the uh, sunken in area. Oh, the sink of it, yes. It does, because you've got, like, that whole officers walking up and down, shouting at people from way hey, up here. Get back to work on your exactly identical screen. Yeah. Keep Push pushing that buttons. button. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it does. You just have to push it. I love it. Lots of computer screens, more operator table, uh, operator chairs. These, of course, being slightly more important. Oh yeah, because you're up here, and you have you have little screens, you have little glass bits. Exactly. So you're feeling rather technical. And then way up front, I guess, is like high command, is it? The XO. Indeed, tactical. Oh yeah, here we are. Here we are. The beating brain. <laughs> the beating. He gets his own table. And a giant. HD screen of the highest price. It it was it was pretty expensive. We we sold a fighter or two for that one. That's right. Oh, and we can go behind it, behind the screen. You can hide and have little tea parties back here. <laughs> no one will know. Oh, oh, and he's gone. gone. Well. He's gone. He'll be back after these short messages. Oh no, he's back. Okay, no need to cut. Very short messages. Yep. So, where else have we missed? Uh, we have the whole back of the ship left to go. Okay, right there. Let's do this. <laughs> and the hangar. Let's go. This way? This one is a, uh, yes, it's a bit of a monster. We're going to go back the way we came. Oh! Uh, okay, I think I can recover from this. I'm uh, down by the by the mini the grassy knoll. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Hello. <laughs> is that not uh, not bad? Is it? Not oh, bad. definitely not. I can I can just make a hole in the ship for you. That's is that good? Probably the oh that works too. Yes. Sorry, sorry to mess your ship up, bro. Decompression. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, we're all in spacesuits, so technically there is no need for decompression. We just have infinite air. What's something is lagging? Oh, something. Who's in that and why? Salinity, and I think he's just come to say hi. Oh, that's, that's right. okay. That's okay then. <laughs> yeah, he has nice ships, so he's a lot. Hello. <laughs> Please don't collide through the door, though. I think he's... Yeah, let yourself out, bro. <laughs> when you see the big undocking message on a ship like this, it gets a bit terrifying. So, um... Where are you? There you are. Yes. Right, so, let's do it. The next place to go... is back here. And we'll be heading towards the crew quarters and the yacht dock. So, hangar number three. One of the neat things about this is you have a little uh, exit, so to speak. It mm. gets you to this cool little area under here. 
service your turrets, check out your generators. Nice. Yell at me about how I ripped off the Nebula class. <laughs> Whatever floats your butt. Same for oh, both somebody's sides. stuck in the hangar. And... I just have to make the best of it, unfortunately. It's the downside of the lineup. Yes, everybody comes to say hello. Yes, which is okay, but sometimes people bring big things. There we go. So, what's so the name friendly. of this room here? <laughs> this is the generator room. Nice. A neutronic fusion, or what have you. <laughs> Excellent, I like it. Techno babble for the sake of techno bell. Yep. But it's here, and it's it's we've, pretty. We've cracked it, right here. You heard it. I'll look up the, the uh, proper name later. But I think that was pretty much it, actually. <laughs> A neutronic fusion. A neutronic fusion. I think so. Yeah, yeah, it's I like think... it's nuclear power without radiation. That's legit. Yeah, it's legit. That is. Legit. You're missing the you're missing the lighting. If you turn around and look at the uh, oh, change. Oh, got a red corridor. Yep, red of course indicate red and or blue indicating uh, hangars and potential danger of airlocks. I know <laughs> in the future we were gonna have uh, possibly lack of oxygen in ships. So hmm, design with that in mind. So there's about uh, six of these, and they're identical. So we'll only need to check out the one. But these are officers' quarters. Yep, nice. Got everything you need. Little storage, bit of grass. Excellent. <laughs> the grass qualifies as a replicator too. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a replicator. If you want to get technical. Okay, cool. I like it. I guess the next best place to stop would be the yacht hangar. Number three. Very nice. Oh, wow. And these are fully fleshed out as well. <laughs> oh dear. And that's the back door. Right, I get it. Let's have a look inside one of these. Oh, very nice. See? Anyone that says they just need a little room with a core, sorry, you've got no excuse. This is no bigger than a core room, but it's got some imagination. You've got a screen here. I like it. <laughs> really nice work, man. Now that's the uh, ISIS class yacht, if you want to get technical. Excellent. I like it. <laughs> so we're going back up this uh, out of this door? Yes, and our next stop is the coup de gras, which is hangar number two. Excellent. Am I going back down the red path? <laughs> Yep, we're going to go down the red, and then we're going to make a right into the other red path. Okie doke. Of course, you can go left here as well, but it's kind of up for debate. Oh, it looks like an escalator or something from the underground. Alright, and then this door leads us to... Oh, this is expansive, man. What? How big is this hangar? It's like a station hangar, in here. It's as big as the entire ship. The ship is built on the hangar. Oh, you've even written the class... Right, I need to get a core so I can fly, because this is, this is phenomenal, mate. Look at this. We've got Meteor. you got Meteors docked. Right. And it also gives the docking dimension as well. Yes. Meteor 2. Meteor 1. Oh my days. Right. Comet 2. Comet 2. What? Comet 1. This is making the Battlestar just like eat your heart out. I'm sorry. It's like these things are proven, these fighters. They're pretty well. They were proven. We've got to fly them all again. They still work. Do they still work because they're small. Oh yes. Ah. They not only are they small, but because of the way I have the weapons groups, they don't drain power. And then, of course, who can leave out these mechs? 
I managed to get a couple of videos out of these today. Lots of fun. Got a couple more coming with these sort of things in as well. These are really awesome. And these are the high mobility space models. That is see. correct. Uh, I love it. It's so awesome. Little mechs. Little space mechs. Right, is there anywhere we missed? Or have we finished? Well, there's, there's one more place we missed. Oh, uh, we which can't is, have which that. Is, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit silly, but I think it's one of the most fun places on the ship. All right, lead us. Uh, to but it. if you didn't catch it, lead it, uh, lead these, us. These ships actually have uh, unique markings. You have your generic ones, and then you have your reds, which are the uh, squadron leader, so to speak. Oh right. <laughs> so there's one uh, like squadron leader comet because they of course get to be the lucky ones painted up with nose art and kill marks. And then you so, have your so more this, generic. Ah, so there's actually two classes then. They're like a veteran, I guess. Precisely. Or an officer. And what's the difference then? Is it actually fitted differently? Uh, no, but there is a version in the works where it is fitted differently. There was actually a scythe. There's actually a scythe version, a mech version, and a serious version, all set up with these squadron leader stripes. Excellent. It's quite entertaining to fly through this hangar at higher speeds. Yeah, it is. It's really nice. An outstanding job, man. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, let's get outside. Oh, we get we still have uh, this door here. Oh, okay, okay. And of course, this is this is the silliest place on the ship, but and you will need your core for it. Down here. Yep, if you fly down the hallway, you'll be able to get all the way to the end, and you'll see what's silly about it. Oh, I like it, though. It's like a core Jeffries tube. Whoa! This is stupidly long. What? How long is this? Breaks! Oh! 730 meters long. That's why it's silly, just flying down it, right? <laughs> it's If you want to get technical, it's a maintenance tube. <laughs> a maintenance tube that leads where? To an observation hatch. Yes, at the front of the vessel, and it is, uh, you can actually open that up and work with the uh, weapons groupings. In fact, this was the most, I decided oh. to leave this in for one reason, uh, and that was because it was so laggy uh, putting in the weapons groups to this uh, ship that I basically cut out chunks of this wall as needed yeah. and had them, uh, and, and made one flat, uh, like, ultimately connected gun, and then linked them all at once, and then unlinked them. Oh, right. by removing the gun in between so I wouldn't have the ridiculous amounts of lag. Right, fly in front of me then. Let's do it. Alright, down we go. It does get a bit trippy about halfway down. Uh... <laughs> oh, sh That's excellent. Oh no! Well, it's gotten me out. Okay, I'm okay. outside. That's where I wanted to be anyway. So you got two on the bottom as well. I didn't see those two on the bottom. A uh, nice antenna as well. So, what was the name of the carrier again? The Aetherius. The Aetherius. Is this another turret on the on the roof? I don't think I spoke about this. Which no, one? Not. Nope. It's part of the roof. No, my bad. That's actually which the uh, <coughs> the top bit. Yeah, the that's top. actually the uh, bridge we were on. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Derp. So, thanks for watching, and uh, Dalmont, cheers for coming along to show me your carrier. I'd uh, thanks say for having me as always. <laughs> I'd say it's a super carrier myself. I mean, it's got a full squadron of everything. So, yeah. Super carrier it is. <laughs> Brilliant. Right then, so I'm going to get on to the next ship in the lineup. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.